Hey viewers, welcome to another video. Yeah, so this video is just about the planning of my van build. A lot of steam coming out the ears at times, but as always, plans do change. Anyway, I will show you what's happening. So I'll take everything out. I've got a rough plan, so I'm gonna leave this actually open. I'm gonna take this out. I've got this little, it's a door control. So I'll have to like leave an access panel for that. So when I do it, when I shoot it, I'll have to, um. Keep that in mind. I've never done this before, guys, so, so um, you know, I'm gonna learn by my mistakes. Anyway, I'm pulling the lining off. So all you're doing is just, you push in the middle there and these pop straight out. I've got the roof lining pulled out. And I've got the side all pulled out. I pulled the cargo barrier out. Okay, I'm gonna go with these, these cupboards. I got these from Fantastic Furniture. I've shopped around guys, and I found a cheaper. These are 59 bucks each for this here. It's probably a bit thin for what I've got marked out here. So I'm gonna use these as actual wall cabinets here. I'm gonna put them up here above the bed. I need a couple of them. They weigh 16 kilos each, these. And they're very easy to assemble. They're only held together with screws from the sides. I've got to cut this, so it'll be small at the top here. Just the, I've got to go to the curve of the van. I've got to cut this back to suit the curve. And then when you look at the front, that'll be on the wall up there. Like the bed will end here. You see the bits of tape there, that's where the, so it's gonna have a double bed mattress. The water tank's gonna be here. And then here will be the cupboards on the wall. So there we go guys, there's my grey water tank. That will go underneath. Piece of 100 mil sewer pipe. I'm gonna make a grey water tank to go onto the van. That's gonna be it. It should hold around 18 litres, roughly time I make it. I'm gonna have it so there'll be a tap on it. It's just something to contain the water, has some sites, you know, some places, you know, they get anal about dropping water. So I'll just, I'll do that and it'll comply. I'll show a bit of that when I do the, the water tank on the van as well. Uh, I'm just not too sure how much detail to go into. I might just sort of do step by step as I do things on the van. I went up to the Weybridge, put on the Weybridge, it was 1920. So everything in the van except for the cupboard that wasn't in pretty much I took it up and that's what it weighed 1920 kilos This has got a GVM of 3200 But generally I'm gonna weigh everything before I put them in so whatever I get for it I'm gonna actually weigh it Just to be careful just watch out guys if you do this sort of stuff Just check your GVM check you're not gonna be overweight Because you're gonna be very very sorry um, if you keep going, then you're not going to be able to finish because you're just too heavy. Just be very careful. I removed all the lining, like off the doors. So they're all removed off everything. The doors. Got all, the, all off the back door here. The plastic part up here, which is there. That there. I'm going to put a reverse camera in. So I'm going to just follow that wiring and from the front there, come along here and I'll get a reverse camera in somewhere on the door. Makes it a bit easier. And also a dash cam. So I'll, just, I'll run them both along the, the current wiring there. So a rear camera on the back door and I'll put a reverse camera on it as well. So yeah, there might be a separate video coming up on that, I might just do that separately. Jesus, that was heavy. All right guys, it's almost stripped out. The floor's in very good nick. This is what I gotta watch out for in planning. This could be for the fuel pump, I would say. So yeah, I'm gonna have to leave a access panel for this so I've got to allow access to this for the spare wheel that's where you get to the 
to lower the spare wheel down so I've got to leave an access panel there. I'll use this matting as a template when I do my floor. Okay guys, the plan is, I don't know if you can see that tape, there's the masking tape. Right, there's going to be a, a cupboard here, so this, this will be a, your walk in here. So this will be a bench top with a, a little sink, the tap will be here, so you can flick the tap around outside if you want to use it outside. This will be like a little bench area. The water tank is going to be there under the bed. The bed's coming to here. Okay, I've got this space here. The water tank will be here. The bed will be across here. It's a double bed. Okay. So it's a bit hard to see that tape, but the tape runs across there. And down here. The fridge will be actually in here. So it's going to be, a, I'm going to get a, um, probably the 95 litre fridge, one that goes under a bench top. And there'll be another base cupboard here. And on top there'll be a bench top. So on top of that, so there'll actually be a bench top. So if I want to put the stove on here and cook inside, I will. Or I'll just take the stove outside because I don't really want to cook inside the van unless I really have to. And then the cupboard here, it'll be like a drop down table. It'll just come down here and I'll just cook here. The sink's just here. Okay, like you got to walk in there to the fridge, but so be it. But that's the plan so far. Um, around the back. So, there's the tape. So, the bed's probably yay hoy. So the mattress will be here. Up here will be like a cupboard on the wall. In case you store your clothes, whatever. And yeah, and under the bed will be storage. Or actually, this part here will be enough for a single person. Like, Stephen can sleep underneath the double bed. So I'll just throw a blow-up mattress on the floor underneath the bed. So this will sleep three people. And then in the event, when he's too old to sleep down there, I'll just take the mattress out and use it for storage, pretty much. And this will be just all storage area. That area right here is going to be the batteries. Three lithium batteries, loads of power. Um, it's probably overkill with the batteries, but I'm going to go three batteries. I'd rather go be extra than not enough battery power. The Max Air Fan, I'm going to put it around this area here. For this roof support, I've got to chop a little bit out of it just so it fits in here. It fits in here good. I know a lot of vanners put them, this is where they put them, in this little spot where it's a bit wider. But I'm going to come over here because I really want it here. Because if I put it there, it's going to interfere with my solar panels. I can put one panel behind the fan and two in front of it. It's a lot on your mind. Yeah, you always, your mind's always ticking over. Even when you go to bed, you're sleeping, you're thinking about it. <laughs> but anyway. So I'll show you the insulation I'm going to use. Now, it's called a metalin. It's about 10 mil thick. You can get it on a roll of Bunnings. It's about 300 bucks for a roll. It's pretty expensive, but I'll tell you what, it does make a difference. It really does. When I actually built this room, this is where me, like my me solar setup is. We've got my batteries in here, and my fridges out here, got my beer out here. I've actually got it in the walls, out of metal. So I'll be using the, the metal one, and also just a bit of earth wall in the walls of the van, just to give it a bit of extra insulation. But like I walk in here, in the toilet, and it is cooler in here. It's a lot cooler in here than what it is out here. It really makes a difference. It certainly does. Guys, I'll just bring you into my oh, big messy shed here at the moment. I've just got stuff everywhere and disorganized. It's just doing this van build I've started. Now, I'm just gonna give you a rough idea what I'm using. I've been gathering my components as time goes on. You know, I just shop around and when I come across sales, I, I buy them. I've decided to use iTech Weld lithium batteries. I've got one of these and it's been pretty good. It's performed very, very well. So I'm using three of these. So they're three 120 amp hour batteries. Okay. I have three of them. 
I'm gonna put into the van. Now, just a tip um, I found, if you buy these batteries from iTech World, guys, November, they generally have 20% off. And I found the last two years running, it was the case. These were 849, the batteries were, and then they had 20% off. And that was a big saving. So these worked out to be around $679.80 or something, 680 bucks. Let's, let's round it off. Wait until November. They've got great bargains and they offer free shipping on these as well. Because, you know, other times through the year, these prices go up and down and they do charge shipping, I noticed as well. I'm just a consumer. I'm not trying to sell you this battery. I'm just telling you what I've come across past 16 months. I've had their products and that's what I found with them. Generally around November, they call it the Black Friday sale. They are a genuine sale. So these are the bits out of the van. That's the roof lining out of the van. They're just templates from when I cut my lining out. Roof bars I'm putting on, on the roof. As for my solar panels, I will be using the Renergy 200 watters. I tested these and they pull in 194 watts. They're pretty big, they're about 1.6 meters long, but these should fit nicely across the width of the van when I put them up. I did buy four, but I think I'll just use three of these panels. There's the tank I'm using. There's the sink. That's the one of the base cupboards. The max air fan. And I'm gonna have a couple of these on the wall near the bed. Oh, and you can see I've got all my bits. I'm actually gonna use the red arc battery charge is a 50 amp it's the current fridge i've got at the moment um i'm gonna go the 95 liter which will be down to say that bottom door that's the height of the fridge i'm gonna go that one's just gonna be too big okay finally picked up my my base cabinets from fantastic furniture i'll assemble one of these cupboards and i'll get an idea what i'm looking at so just assembling the cupboards, waiting for my loaf of bread from Wing. We can have toast, eh? Yeah. What do you reckon? The cab is not finished, but that just gives you an idea of the size. That's approximately where it'll sit. Probably 500 space to get in. That's that's plenty. Okay, so, and that'll be good. It leaves access in case I have to get to the fuel pump. That's no problem. So there'll be another one of these over here. Should work nicely, because that's where my drainage will come out, right there. I've got to take out a 40 mil hole there. But I think that will be okay. There'll be plenty of room to get in and out. And then also be one of them over here. Time I put the fridge in, it'll come to about there where that tape is. But that's how much room I'll have. So I can either bring it this way or a little bit of a gap there, I'll see how it go when I put it in because this will be my battery area and my DC charger inverter. The fridge, I'm undecided whether to put it here or put it over there. I'll have to tinker around with that when I get the fridge. I'm going to have the fixed double bed. I know a lot of these vans, they have the they have a seat over here and they have a seat over here. They've got the table in the middle and then they collapse the tables down for a bed but I'd rather just a, a permanent bed really and and also it allows us to sleep three people as Stephen will be underneath the bed so yeah so it'll be a three berth being a three-seater and sleep three people is pretty much what I want it's to gain taste guys you know if you you do something with a, 
a lounge that's fine, you know, it, it's just, it depends what you use it for. I'm sort of still making up my mind as I go, guys. I don't have a set plan. I just, just check it everything fits in the place before I go ahead. The next video will be my, my Max Fan Deluxe to put up right there. It's gonna go in this section here. That'll be in the next video, guys, that I'll do on this fan. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.